Hi there folks, today uh, we're going to go over yet another addition to our inventory here at Hankster's Hot Rods. My name is John Oaks and I'll be doing that with you today. Um, so what we have sitting here, this is a 1969 Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet Nova SS and yes it is a real SS car. Uh, it is also done in the correct color also. This is tuxedo black. It is our triple black car, so you've got the black exterior, you've got the black vinyl top, and then when we get to the interior, you're going to have all black vinyl interior in this car as well. So as you can see from the outside, this car is immaculate, uh, top to bottom, inside and out. You've got all of the correct SS uh, insignias, all the badges, everything that calls out for this car to have had, it definitely has here. The only exception to that, and I'll go over that real quick with you, and then we're going to hit on that more in depth here after I get all the way around in the car, and that is the motor. It does have a date correct motor, it's just not the numbers match motor for the car. So as you can see, it does have the 396 badges up here on your turn signal indicators, your side marker lights, I should say, and that is what's in the car, a 396. Um, you do have that SS hood with the louvers there. Everything looks very, very good on this hood. And we're going to get to the underside, like I said, when we get all the way around the car. Of course, we've got the Nova script here on the fenders as well. The car sits on all 14-inch wheels. As you can see, these are like the Magnum 500 style wheel with the SS center caps and the beauty rings and again this thing has all brand new bf goodrich radial ta tires in the size of 225 70 r14s all the way around as far as body panel fitment and alignment you can look for yourselves here on the video and all the pictures all of your gaps all of your body lines elevations everything all look to be on you know pretty spot on on this car it looks great all of your glass you can see the side glass here all very nice there's no cracks or chips in any of it your vent window here or wing window you can see your molding here everything looks in great shape the mirrors you can see the chrome around those there's no pitting whatsoever your moldings all the way around your rain gutter here those are in great shape too um, even your top on this car, a lot of times you'll see vinyl top cars that you always get the problems right around all the edges. This car is immaculate, I'm telling you, there are no bumps or anything all the way around on this car. Let's open our door up and we'll take a look at that all black interior. Everything looking great inside, the upholstery on the seats, no rips or tears. You can see it's got all the piping or the trim there and the bright work around the seats. Um, your dash is in excellent shape. The actual pad, no cracks or tears in it. Your dash includes the Speedo, the tack, and the clock in the dash. And then down below, you'll see your four speed shifter there with the center console. And that has your console gauges, all four of them, which would be your battery, fuel, water, and oil pressure. Um, the door panels on this car, along with the armrests, you usually will get wear marks in here and cracks and so forth. Not on this car. This car is in great shape. It's got your uh, Nova badging up here on the door panels as well. You can just see how nice this car is. All of your seals and weather stripping all the way around, all in great shape on this car. Door shuts nice and easy. As we come back, the quarter panel here, again, nice and straight all the way back. Again, you're not going to hide anything on a black car, and this thing is just in fantastic condition. As we come around the back side here, we can see the chrome on the bumper is in excellent shape. There's no pitting, no scratches on that bumper. You see the SS emblems up here on your tail panel, your tail lights themselves, those lenses, those are in great shape. There's no cracks or chips in any of those. The trunk lid, you've got the correct script badging back here. All of your gaps the whole way around the trunk in nice shape. Your rear window, all your molding around that, including the glass, is in great shape. Now, I'm not sure if you can see in here, but if we look down in, we can see a vent right there. This car does have rear defroster on it. Now, let's go ahead and open our trunk up. We're going to see what the inside here looks like, which is in great shape again. 
So as we open it up, you can see the underside of our trunk lid here painted the same tuxedo black as the rest of the car. Inside the trunk, look how well this looks in here. You've got your spare tire, the mount for it. You've got the jack back there as well. You've got the trunk mat as well as the floor mats. And as I tell everybody, we always leave the floor mats out so that you can see the true condition of the carpeting inside the car while we're showing you the upholstery. Uh, you can see all of your weather stripping here around the trunk. You can see it is in excellent shape. There's no rips or tears or any chunks out of it. And then again, your rain gutters and so forth throughout the trunk here, your area here, all in excellent shape. We'll close this up and then we'll walk around the passenger side. Again, quarter panel down the passenger side, just as nice as the rest of the car. Uh, all of our side moldings, that go all the way, basically from your front fender, down underneath the door, and then back your quarter panels. These are the correct moldings, and they're in great shape too. Again, these things are in phenomenal condition. They're mounted correctly. They look very, very good. We get up here to our uh, passenger side door. We'll go ahead and like I said, you can see in the pictures and the video, all your gaps, the elevations are dead on here. And then your body lines all line up very, very nicely. Let's open it up from this side. Again, you'll just get kind of a perspective from the passenger side of the car. Your carpeting's in great condition. Uh, again, the seat upholstery is just about as perfect as you can get. The door sill plates or threshold plates, those all look to be in great, great shape. Again, weather stripping, all in phenomenal condition. Again, that door shuts easy too. So as we come up there, we do have both mirrors, both the driver and passenger side mirror. Got the fender mounted antenna there, and then we'll just work our way around to the front. Again, everything is in great shape. So back up at the front of the car, um, you can see the whole front grill area here. Everything's in great shape. The black paint looks good. The SS emblem's right in the center. The uh, actual bumper down here too in great shape. Headlights, just your traditional sealed beam units there. And again, no, uh, no cracks or chips in any of those in excellent shape. Lenses on your turn signals there, those are in great shape. As I mentioned before, this would be your correct SS hood with the louvers. Now you get back a little further, you'll see the condition of the windshield and the moldings all the way around in great shape. Windshield wipers there, those look good too. Let's go ahead and open our hood up and then we'll talk a little bit about the engine as well as the rest of the drive line for this car. So once with the hood open, we can see the underside condition here. So it's painted black here. All of your hood insulation is all installed correctly as it should be all in great shape. You don't see anything hanging down there underneath the hood. As far as the actual engine compartment, this is where we get to the, uh, the power plant of the car here. So we've got a 396 cubic inch big block Chevy motor. Now, as I mentioned, it is not the numbers match, but it is a date correct 396. Um, it has the chrome valve covers, the chrome air cleaner on it, stock distributor with your external coil there. Um, it does retain the stock exhaust manifolds on it too. And a lot of people did that. They would go with those and, and not do a header uh, only because these would seal up so much better. Um, you do have power brakes, which are disc up front, drums on the back. You do have power steering as well there. The radiator is just a stock style radiator there. Um, but that's going to provide plenty of cooling pro uh, power for you. Now, if you notice over there at the battery, they wanted to keep this as stock uh, or original looking as possible. So this is a regular battery here, but it does retain the old school looking cover on it just to give you that vintage look. You can see how well this car has been taken care of by looking at all your hoses and so forth. Everything uh, retains all the correct style of hose clamps here for the, the period of the car. Um, so that is a real nice, uh, real nice uh, you know, detail that they did keep with this vehicle. Um, now, with the big block uh, engine in here, right behind that for our transmission, we do have the Muncie four-speed transmission. Uh, and then, of course, we've got a 12-volt rear end in this car. Again, with that big block, you want to make sure you have a stout rear end in it. So it's got a 12-volt 
posi unit in there, eight and three quarter inch ring gear, along with a 350 gear. So it's gonna make this car very enjoyable to drive because you're gonna be able to take it out, cruise around with it if you need to, and if you ever wanna put the power down, that gear and that transmission is gonna definitely help you in doing so. Um, with that said, that's pretty much it for our walk around of the outside of the car. Uh, as always, we're going to get this on the lift and show you what the underside's like and then fire that motor up so you get to hear it too. Um, but before we do that, um, as we try to always remind you, um, if there's anything that you uh, as a potential buyer of this car would like to add to this, if you might see a video on one of our other cars, and you want to maybe change something and you're interested in buying the car, but yet it's just maybe missing something for you. Um, always give us a call, shoot us an email, send us a text, contact us some way and uh, you know, let, let us know what it is that you would like to have added to the car or changed. Um, we can definitely get you a, uh, a quote on doing so and get back to you as soon as we possibly can with those things. Um, as with most of our cars, we do have a included in the retail price. We have free shipping anywhere within the 48 contiguous states, as well as a three month, 3000 mile powertrain warranty on the car as well. So with that said, we'll close this up. We'll get it back on our lift there and show you the underside. All right, so guys, we are standing underneath our Tuxedo Black 1969 Chevrolet Nova SS. And as we always do, we're going to go through the complete underside of this car, going over the drive line, all the running gear, the suspension, the brake lines, uh, brake components, wheels, tires, frame, floors, etc. Um, so starting at the front, uh, since we're already up this way, let's go over the drive line. I'll just tell you what it is. And as we walk back through, I'll just kind of point out the things again. But we've got a, uh, it's a date correct, unfortunately, not numbers match, but a date correct uh, 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine here. Right behind that motor, we have the Muncie M21 four speed manual transmission. And then out there on the back, we have the GM 12 volt rear end. It is an eight, th eight and three quarter inch ring gear, posi unit and a 350 gear in that. Um, now again, this is a true SS, so it would have come with, you know, the big block and all that stuff. But unfortunately, like I said, not numbers match right now. As far as the sp suspension, pretty much all stock components here on the suspension. We've got your stamp steel components up here, your upper and lower A-arms. This car does have a sway bar in it up here. It's hard to see. It's kind of tucked up in there. But those sway bar bushings, both at the frame and the end links up in here, have all been checked, and those are in really great shape. All of your ball joints on your control arms are in great shape. And your tie rod, same thing. All those ball joints on your tie rod ends are all in good shape. As far as braking components on the car, we do have power brakes uh, and they are disc up front, drums out on the rear. Um, and then of course, everything's been checked, the brake pads, uh, rotors, everything all in good shape. Uh, on the rear, as I said, drum brakes, and then all four corners all retain 14 inch steel rally wheels. Um, and then these have brand new BF Goodrich Radial TA 22570 R14 tires all the way around on this car. Um, and power steering also. So on this car here, oil pan is all nice and dry on this thing. No leaks or drips or any signs of it whatsoever. Transmission, same thing. If you look over the transmission, everything looks all sealed up good. Tail shaft housing, um, seal and everything, that looks good. Your cross member here, nice and straight, never been banged on anything. And then of course your tail shaft mount here is in great condition also. Frame rail sections here are in great shape. The body mount bushings, those are great, uh, in great condition. As you can see also, we have the dual exhaust that starts with the stock manifolds. And then you have your dual exhaust all the way back to what looks to be a set of, uh, it looks like Flowmaster type mufflers. I'm not gonna say they are, I can't see any name on them. It might be turned around to the top side here, but they're, they look like a set of Flowmasters here. And then of course you've got the tailpipes that go up over top of that rear end housing. And then they exit out uh, the car here between the leaf springs and that rear quarter panel. 
As far as the leaf, the rear suspension goes, I just said it does have the leaf springs, the multi-leafs here. Again, those are great uh, condition. Um, all your, your leaf uh, perches, your shocks and so forth, that's in all great shape. Uh, fuel lines and brake lines on the car are all routed right along the pinch welds of the car, which you can see are very nice and straight down both sides. Your brake lines are routed on this side here of the car. And then of course you do have the emergency brake here also. That is all, uh, all your cables, all your hooks, mounts and J hooks, those are all in place as they should be. Um, as I mentioned before, drum brakes on the rear, your fuel tank, that is in great shape. Even the fuel neck on it looks to be almost new. I'm not gonna say it's brand new. We do see a little bit of spotting here, but again, nice and straight, no dents or dings. All your mounting hardware is all in great shape on this car. And the other thing to talk about, obviously is gonna be our floor pans on this car. These things look in phenomenal shape here. Uh, there are no holes. Uh, I see no patching, no nothing like that. Looks great uh, underneath here. Um, your rockers on both sides are nice and straight. No patches, no holes, no nothing there to speak of. Um, just an all around great car here for a 69 Nova SS. Um, so at this point, we'll go ahead and lower it down off of our lift. We're gonna go ahead as we always do, open the hood up and then we'll go ahead, fire it up. That way you get to hear what that big block sounds like. Yeah. 